Hello everyone and welcome to the program. I'm Sheung Okimbaloe. The People's Democratic Party is perhaps Nigeria's most successful political party. Considering how long they held power, the party had envisaged it will rule Nigeria for as long as 60 years. But what? Uh, but that hope was cut short in 2015 when the old Progressive Congress (APC), the party that sealed its merge less than a year before the general elections. The party won more states and secured the presidency, ending the PDP's full term and over 16 years reign at the center. The PDP has been talking about the real reasons behind its dismal performance at the 2015 elections. Several reasons have been attributed to that. The party plans to come back to prominence in 2019. Part of the plans since the party chairman, Senator Alimodo Sharif, took office is to reconcile members and consolidate ahead of 2019. But it appears the process to that ambition is not enjoying a smooth ride. The party will hold its national convention in May 21, 2016, where the leadership of the party will shape up and loads and loads of controversies are generating already. And some leaders of the Southwest believe if the party zones the presidency in 2019 to the North, it is just right, or is it right, of the Southwest region to have the national championship position? Alas, when the party released the zoning arrangement ahead of its convention, the championship position is zoned to the Northeast. This is not going down well with some of the leaders who believe that move, that move is capable of causing the party its peace. Chief Olabode Judge, a member of the People's Democratic Party's Board of Trustees, joins us to discuss the development in the PDP. Thank you so much for joining us, Chief Body Judge. My pleasure. Right. Let's, let, let's quickly go. I, I was at the meeting where uh, yourself and some members of uh, the South, the leaders of the South West were saying, it is the right of the, the South West region to have the chairmanship position of the party. But it looks like that is not going in your way, considering the, uh, the zoning arrangement released by the party. How are you taking that? You know, um, first of all, let me thank you for inviting me to share my own thoughts uh, on this issue. Um, and I will try as much as humanly possible to uh, explain the dynamics and the concept of this zoning issue, which sustained the party for those years that uh, we were in government. Now. Um, when we were told that there was going to be a zoning arrangement and immediately after that election the National Working Committee of our party uh, commissioned a committee to look into the fallout of the uh, last election and one of that was headed by the Deputy Senate President um, uh, Ike 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 Ike. And one of the recommendations was that the next uh, uh, general election, 2019, that the North should produce the, um, the presidential candidate. And that immediately meant that the chairmanship of the party will come from the South. You see, ideally, which I have explained to so many people, now, our uh, party constitution allows um, for you to do a two-term. In other words, the, the zoning that was made at that time, they could go on for a second term. Now, but, but because of this idea that, you know, the next presidential candidate for our party, the flag bearer, must come from the north, people started agitating that there was need to do um, uh, a rezoning. But if you look at the reports presently of the uh, zoning committee, there was no zoning. The Northeast keeps the uh, national chairmanship. Um, the Southwest is keeping the national secretary. So what was the zoning? And by the original concept, by the founding fathers of the party, when you talk about zoning, whatever has been in the north 
must come to the south. And whatever has been in the south must go to the north. You see, we, we, I'm, I'm trying to go to the very basis so that people at home will understand the, the, uh, the concept. Now, in our national constitution, the, the six geopolitical zones don't exist. You know, you have three tiers of government. For us, the founding fathers at that time, who knew what they went through in the first republic, the second republic, came up with this brilliant idea of the six geopolitical zones. In other words, the minorities in the north and the minorities in the south was be, are being taken care of. That was why they decided that out of the six major top positions, every zone must have one. In other words, if the president comes from the south, the vice president will come from the north, the senate president will come from the south, the speaker will come from the north, and then the secretary to government will also come from the south, and the, the, the national chairman will come. So you have three up, three down. Uh, with, with, with the way the zoning looks, you, you said that there was no zoning. There was no zoning. I mean, y y y the status quo remains. That's what you're saying. Absolutely. But this, for example, take for example, the national publicity secretary of the party, the last time was in the southeast. But and this no. time around, it's in Southwest. Same with other positions, which are slightly changed. That, that is not the zoning concept. What, what would be the zoning concept that would have Whatever. been acceptable to, to, to some of you mm -hmm. who are agitating or you know, who, who feel that this is not right? You know, the, the, the founding fathers, because of the geopolitical destabilization and that no zone will be left on 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 uh, on, on, uh, on catered for yeah uh, on catered for or to be at a disadvantage everything that is in the south will go to the north everything that is being in the north will come to the in south tons. in tons so when you do there's no lateral zoning for example the last uh, publicity secretary was from uh, southeast southeast so you have <laughs> You just sent it straight back to the southwest. To the southwest. It's still, it's still in, the, in south. the south. That doesn't make for what their concept. You you are destabilizing it. The governor of uh, Aquabum said he w was the chairman of his committee for zoning. Uh, they met in Uyo. Uh, we understand that they they had several meetings, which led to the neck meeting that we saw and all of that. You mean all of that, all of these, the, the basic things that guide the party's uh, uh, stability is not followed? No. What would you be doing right now as regarding this? No. What you see, and, and one other mistake they made was that before any NEC meeting, the National Executive Committee of the meeting, there should be a caucus meeting, a board of trustee meeting, and the NEC meeting. The reason being that people would look at whatever committee has written and put in the experience the logic and the 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 the, the, uh, the historical perspective into it so that by the time it gets to neck it is sealed but what you what they did yes the national working committee set up the committee to go and look into it which they call the, the zona committee the, the zoning committee they finished their job the caucus didn't look at it the bot didn't look at it they landed it at uh, neck so where, 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 where so it, it's not rational the national chairman of the party is he not aware of the process that this usually takes? well let me give him the excuse that is fresh and green in our party but the procedure the, is there in the Constitution. You know, if you bring in anything, even having discussed it at the NWC, you bring it to the elders, founding fathers of the party, who could say, wait a minute, that was not how it was done. This is the reason why you should do ABCD. So by the time it gets to neck, it's already well fleshed up.